We're super excited to be here presenting this uh, beautiful uh, product. So this is actually the first system and chip in the world, which is LoRa enabled. So system and chip means that actually everything is embedded on the same silicon die. I mean the microcontroller part and the LoRa capability on the same silicon die, okay? So it's actually, um, I would say, um, kind of a breakthrough uh, yeah. because it's a major uh, new LoRa one enabler, okay? And uh, most probably the main point that uh, I could highlight right now are the following ones. First of all, the deep integration coming from the fact that it's a system and chip, yeah. right? Uh, then it's uh, multi-modulation capable, as you can see uh, on the screen, right? So that means that uh, you guys, device makers, will have the uh, ability to implement whatever uh, other protocols or proprietary protocols or applicative layers on top of the your older one stack. Uh, also, it's provided as an open platform, so that means that uh, you guys, device makers, will always have the flexibility to implement whatever you want into it. So, very important point as well. And last but not least, it's based on the best-in-class Ultra Low Power Platform STM32 L4. So that means that, of course, we all know that uh, battery lifetime is of paramount importance for LP1 use cases. So it's based on Ultra Low Power uh, L4. So everything should be okay in that, uh, in, in that framework as well. Cool. So, so yeah, you can build lower one devices, you can lower devices. So, so it's a very generic RF. I see all kinds of other technologies. So that, that brings a lot of, like it's a very agnostic product that yeah, sure. gives a lot of opportunities.